I must have bumped the button here. 505 is New Mexico. And then I'll put in a... Uh, yeah, I'll put in a number. I'm not going to put any number here. And then hit the word dial. Now, once you hit the word dial, the word hang up in red should apply. That means it's currently dialing that number and the number you dialed should hear you. You can talk to them with this neat little microphone that you modified and you can hear them through your um, earphone jack on the iPod. Okay, so that's pretty much it how to make your iPod uh, become a VOIP telephone. As you can see on my iPod, I've got quite a few uh, applications on there already. Um, some of these are just really, really great. Uh, I even have the uh, applications from the iPhone you can get, like the, um, oh, what is it? Uh, the weather. Where is it? Oh, it's on the other screen. Oh, Maps. Google Maps. It runs on it just fine. That's on the iPod Touch. SSH Wizard File Transfer. Uh, customizing email. That program from the iPhone will transfer and work on the iPod Touch. And somewhere I've got the weather. And of course, uh, you can customize the, the uh, screen too. You can see I've got five icons down in the uh, launch bar. The uh, music, photos, Safari, YouTube, and the installer. And you'll notice my icons are different too, because you can customize them. And then, there's an IRC chat program. Oh, there's the weather. Let me see if I, I tap the weather. And uh, you can see that it updated just a few seconds ago. And it's 46 degrees here in Mountain Air, New Mexico. We're up at about 7,000 feet in altitude. We do have snow outside. Anyway, lots of really neat programs for your iPod Touch. And this uh, SIP VOIP is very, very interesting. And it doesn't take a whole lot to attach a microphone to it. And, you know, you can buy these in Walmart. You know, there's a little Walmart gizzy. And like I say, on the back, you can modify it pretty easily. You know, just, again, remove resistor R24 with a soldering iron. And solder a wire from the way I got it right now, the top pad, all the way over to the bottom of C16 and it's pretty easy to do again it doesn't take much heat or much solder the wire can be from anything most people have some solid cat5 wire laying around so just a piece of cat5 wire or a piece of telephone wire just a single piece um, I re recommend that it have insulation. Now you can see that the bare wire, the insulation is stripped off on the end and of course soldered to in that part, uh, let me see if I can get a little closer, C, uh, C16, which by the way is up in the air, let me see if I can get a, you can see it's up in the air a little bit so it makes it easy to solder to. The resistor, the R24 uh, one, is over on the edge of the board so you won't really mess up any other parts so just remove the R24 right there and solder the other end of the 3.3 volt wire onto that again it enables that microphone chip there it turns it on and then the microphone will work even though the iPod does not like it you know again plug it in 